And now let's take a look at what else is making news across the world. This is Gravitas Global Headlines. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met his South African counterpart, Naledi Pandor, in Pretoria. Blinken is in Africa on a three-nation trip as Washington steps up diplomatic efforts to counter Russia's influence. China's Hainan province, that is dependent on tourism, locked down more areas as it battles its worst COVID-19 outbreak after seeing very few cases in the past two years. Hong Kong will shorten the COVID-19 hotel quarantine period for all arrivals to three days from the previously imposed seven days. The measure will be effective from August 12th. Arrivals will need to self-monitor for a further four days, during which they will be forbidden to enter restaurants and bars. At least nine people were injured in a shooting outside a Cincinnati bar. The shooting took place at a popular nightlife area in Over the Rhine district. The U.S. Senate has passed a $430 billion bill intended to fight climate change, lower drug prices and raise some corporate taxes. The package heads next to the House. Gustavo Petro became Colombia's first leftist president after being elected by voters who hope he can carry out ambitious social and economic reforms meant to reduce violence and deep inequality in the polarized Andean country. Hundreds of members of Brazil's LGBTQ community and their supporters marched through a seaside town near Rio. They called on people to turn out and vote in the upcoming election to ensure a new government is in place that will enact legislations protecting their rights. France is bracing for a fourth heatwave this summer after its worst drought on record left villages parched. In a bid to tackle the situation, the government has now set up an interministerial crisis team. Indian badminton contingent won all the gold medals on offer on Monday as PV Sindhu beat Canada's Michelle Lee to win the women's singles event. Lakshya Sen triumphed in the men's singles gold medal match, while the pair of Satwik Sairaj, Ranki Reddy and Chirag Shetty won the men's double event. Star Indian paddler Sharath Kamal reclaimed his men's singles crown after 16 years as he beat local favorite Lyme Pitchford in the final. This was the 40-year-old's fourth medal at the ongoing games. The win takes his overall Commonwealth Games medal tally to 13, out of which 7 are gold. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.